Right, I actually did this um, probably about four or five days ago. Um, I actually unlocked and went rank one on Deep Wounds. And obviously the next one <laughs> is another 550 core and the other two at 135. So um, I've already got the two other cores, so it's just the 550 card one need to get. But um, it is really handy if you have people that do uh, inflict bleed. Um, people like X-23, Moon Knight, Drax. Um, even you know, anyone like Magneto, whose first attack causes bleed, anyone that does that, um, anything that can make that bleed last a little bit longer is obviously going to be really effective. Um, and I thought I'd just do a quick video showing my X23. Um, she's by far the best bleed champ. Um, I don't know if she's the best bleed champ out there, but for ones that I have, she it's just ridiculous. She can get a times five bleed. Um, now obviously this is against a Spider-Man who isn't always the easiest to uh, get a flawless victory really, but I'll give it a go. So you bad. So anything that can make that bleed last any bit longer is obviously definitely worth doing. Um, and I think for the next one, I'm not sure whether to go rank two or whether to unlock the next one in the tree, which is Assassin. Now I know people in my alliance. There's one guy he's got that rank five and he's a pretty big boss killer so um, I mean that could be handy even if someone does try and take him out and he gets a low um, uh, you know low health um, and you can just take him out dead easy with this so I mean that's something I'll consider because um, I mean for de defense wise I've gone on willpower I'm not really bothered about um, salve or recovery um, I'm, I don't know I just, I'm not really, definitely not salve I, I mean in the future I might possibly unlock it to get recovery um, because I mean I suppose 15% health over the fight it could be handy but it's something I'm going to look into but at the moment it's either going to be ranked 2 on deep wounds or unlocking assassin for my next mastery